No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. And My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Yo, I'm Micah with No Film School. We're here with light panels. Alan's going to show us the new 6X, which is six times brighter than the original one by one that light panels made and 50% brighter than the one that they showed us last year. What's going on, Alan? Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, you got it spot on. So across the entire Astro family, we're 50% brighter than the Astro we had last year, as you just mentioned. Yeah. So we took the opportunity to kind of rename them so people could easily identify that. So. The Astra 6X, as you mentioned, six times brighter than the original one by one that kind of helps set the wildfire of LEDs that we see today at the uh, NAB show. Yep. And then we have the 3X version, which is three times brighter. So nice. the difference between those, obviously, is the intensity. The 3X does not have a fan in there, it's just passive cooling. Nice. The uh, 6X has uh, passive and active, so meaning there's a fan in there to help keep the LEDs cool. You can switch that off and you'll get less output. We're, we're really happy because all the accessories are the same, um, but we're getting a little bit less um, power draw. So you're getting improved battery runtime. It's, it's, it's all because the LEDs now are more efficient than ever. So um, all the same accessories, all the same light modifiers fit. So if you have an Astro already and you want to add these to your arsenal, then they'll be available in June. How long can you power this light for with a V-mount battery, for example? So we're drawing about 105 watts now. So if you're using a, a V-mount or a gold mount Anton Bauer, let's say a digital 90. Um, for the 6X, because it's about 105 watt power draw, you're going to get about 45 minutes out of it. The 3X, because that's about 55 watt power draw, you're going to get over an hour out of it. Awesome. And just, just how bright are these? Depends on how you're using it, distances you're working at, what kind of beam angles you're working with. But I mean, very roughly, it's probably uh, compared to like a 1K um, raw at tungsten with no diffusion in front of it or anything like that. It's just, and that's very roughly. Of course, with these cameras nowadays, like the ones you guys are shooting on today, you're noticing very high native ISOs and such. So. Excellent. And when, when are these available? So these are shipping in June, um, starting with the bicolors, and then we're going to bring out the daylights right after that. People are mainly shooting with bike colors, so we want to get those out as quick as possible. All right, so those are the Astra lights from Light Panels this year. Uh, better, brighter, more efficient, and same price as the original unit. Now we're going to check out the new Solas. All right, so these are the new Sola lights, uh, improved upon last year's models as well. Yeah, so as we were kind of mentioning earlier, we have um, daylight balance LED Fresnels that are benefiting from these new efficient LEDs. Um, with the Solar 6 Plus, um, we're drawing about 105 watts, and um, it's 50% brighter than the version that we had previously. You're able to cut and shape just like any traditional Fresnel. The Solar 4 Plus, we're driving that one actually a little bit more, about 10 more watts, so about 50 watt power draw. But we're with that 50 watt power draw, we'll be, we're seeing a 120% increase. So super, uh, super punchy, lightweight. They both have DMX ability. You can control the um, the intensity and the uh, focus from spot to flood through DMX. So it's kind of like a proprietary thing that we have. And what's really cool about these for now is that they're super punchy is you can run them on an Anton Bauer as well. Those are the new solo lights. Thanks, Alan, for showing us all the new stuff at Light Panels NAB 2017.